Hello, my name is Ara Kishishian, and what I'd like to do is uh, go over the differences between laparoscopic and robotic approach uh, to surgery. Laparoscopic procedures allows us to perform procedures with number of small incisions versus a, a, a single a large incision. It's sort of the same technique that's used for robotics with some major differences, and we're just going to review the, uh, them very briefly. Um, for laparoscopic uh, approach, as it is with uh, robotics approach, a, 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 a small incision is made, then we'll fill up the abdominal cavity with uh, gas to distend the abdominal wall and create a space between the abdominal wall and uh, the, the abdominal content, be the small bowel, liver, colon, or whatever the subject of the operation may be. And then uh, we introduce a camera to, through one of the small incisions and uh, through the other smaller incisions, instrumentations are placed in uh, and the procedure is performed. So for both laparoscopic and robotic approach, uh, up to this point, the technique is pretty much the same. Uh, for laparoscopic approach at this point, the surgeon is st standing next to the patient with an assistant surgeon. Uh, holding the camera and an additional instrument, and the surgeon uses long instruments to perform the procedure. Uh, in robotics, the surgeon steps away at this point in the time, and then a, a, a docking instrument is brought to the operative table, and that docking instrument essentially holds the camera and the instrumentation that's manipulated by a, a, a surgeon's console, which is behind me, and acts as a uh, remotely operated uh, device to uh, allow the surgeon to manipulate the instruments. So what I'd like to do is uh, now uh, show an example of what the biggest difference is between a, a laparoscopic uh, instrument and a robotic instrument. As I said a little earlier, the biggest difference in instrumentation for uh, laparoscopic and robotic is the way the tip of the instrument rotates. This is in addition to the difference that in a uh, regular laparoscopic approach, the images that we see on a monitor are two-dimensional, whereas with robotics, based on the camera system and the um, uh, double-eyed vision, uh, the images that the surgeon sees are three-dimensional. They're in 3D images, so you have a much better depth perception uh, appreciation during the surgery. But talking about the instrumentation with laparoscopic instrument, this is a typical laparoscopic instrument that it has a handle and a long shaft that goes through that small uh, opening uh, into the abdominal cavity. And the point that I would like to make is that though, as um, the tip of the instrument only is able to grab and in some cases rotate, there are some unique instruments that are also the, uh, the tip of the instrument is able to rotate in one uh, uh, direction or another. But primarily, most of the laparoscopic instruments, when they're placed through the um, abdominal wall of the patient, are able to uh, have limited rotation based on open and close, and maybe rotation in uh, one axis or another. This is in contrast with robotic instruments where, uh, let's not worry about the sizes because they're large and uh, sort of a five millimeter and 12 millimeter instruments in both, but when it comes to the tip of the angulation of the uh, robotic instrument, even though the length and all that is still the same, let's note that the angulation and the wrist motion is located all the way at the tip of the instrument. So a, a surgeon will have a much, much broader uh, range of motion when manipulating the instrument at the, in the patient from different angles uh, when doing it robotically versus doing it, uh, let's see if I can turn that, uh, versus doing it laparoscopically. And that's one of the major benefits of doing a procedure robotically, in addition to the 3D imaging, is the significant range of motion and be able to manipulate very, very small amount of tissue located at the uh, operative field because of the fact that the, uh, the multiple joints that are made available at the tip of the instrument where that is not the case with laparoscopic instruments. One uh, additional benefit of the robotics versus laparoscopic, in addition to the multiple joints that are at the very tip of the instruments, is the extreme uh, uh, fine-tuned motions that the robotic instruments are able to deliver based on the fact that it can take a surgeon's hand motion and either magnify or make that into extremely fine-tuned motion at the tissue level, whereas in a laparoscopic approach, the the, the motion are delivered directly to the tip. So a surgeon is able to make much more finer dissection with um, robotic instruments 
uh, when compared to laparoscopic instruments. Robotics, uh, in contrast to laparoscopic instruments, they have multiple joints at the very tip of the instrument, so it not only is able to rotate in two angles, it's also able to open and close the instrument. Let's again open this up. And so the uh, instrument is able to open and close in multiple directions and have extremely fine-tuned uh, the section ability because of the fact that it's controlled by robot and it only takes the surgeon's hand and manipulates the tissue at the very tip in fine-tuned sections.